If you go somewhere really dark at night, and the weather is clear, like inside a desert, and you look towards the north, you'll see two sets of stars. Great Bear and Little Bear. You could say they also look like a big and small spoon. Orsa Minor or Little Bear is the smaller spoon and it's located above the bigger one and is formed with seven stars. And at the end of the handle, it's the North Star and they also call it Polaris. And the Greater Bear is also formed with seven different stars and it forms a bigger looking spoon. So both sets of stars are made of seven stars each. We said all this so we can talk about Polaris or the North Star. Why is this star so important? First we have to know that Polaris in terms of brightness is not that bright and it's ranked number 46 in the bright department. But however you look at it, it's an ordinary star. It's not old or young big or small, an ordinary star where you can find everywhere in the universe. But we want to see why this star is so important. This star is not important, but it's where it's located. The North Pole Star, Polaris, or the North Star got this name because it's really above the pole. Polaris produces a lot of light and you could easily see it in the night sky and if you see it, it's really beautiful. But it's extremely far as well. It's so far that we can't go towards it currently. 433 light years away from us. One of the fastest things made that can carry humans is the Space Shuttle Discovery and it has a speed of 5 kilometers a second. That is a lot. That means 18,000 kilometers an hour. With this speed, if we want to go to Polaris, it will take 37,200 years just to travel one light year. So if we want to travel 433 light years, we're gonna be on the way for one and a half million years. So this means if we start the journey right now with the space shuttle discovery, in a couple hundred years, the humans will develop something and make something way faster than what we have now. And they will easily pass us. Then we're gonna be on the space shuttle discovery extremely disappointed and say we wish we were on that space shuttle. But we're not planning on going there anyways. But let's learn more about the star. If you don't know what you're looking for, finding these stars is kind of difficult. But if you're in the desert and there's no light pollution, it's pretty easy to find. But other places, it's gonna be harder to see. For seeing these stars, first you have to find the big bear. When you find it, you look at the two stars at the end of the spoon and when you draw a straight line all the way up, you will get the North Star or Polaris and that is located in the smaller bear. You could find all these stars in the northern hemisphere of planet Earth, but you can't see it south of the equator. Maybe this is the reason that the great civilization are all in the northern hemisphere and throughout history, they were all on the northern hemisphere. This star is pretty much the GPS in history. Thousands of years ago, everybody used this star to travel around the world. And maybe if they went south of the equator, they would get lost because they could not find the Polaris star. That's probably why most empires are on the northern hemisphere because they had access to the best GPS there was. Anywhere they wanted to take their army, they just followed the star. Anywhere on the northern hemisphere you're standing and you look at the Polaris star, you are looking at true north. This star wasn't only used to find the north. 
Ancient astronomers would use the astrolabe and not only find true north, but would find the altitude of where they are. Before the telescope, all the astronomers used this tool as well. So you might ask, why are there so many stars, but this one is the only important one? That is true. This is the only important one, and the reason that it's true north. And if you look at this video, when the Earth is spinning, this star doesn't really move, but every star around it makes a line. You might ask, why is that star locked on north? You have to know that it's not locked. It basically is luckily sitting there, and it's so far that when it moves, it doesn't change anything. And until a couple thousand years in the future, it's gonna be true north. Right now, this star doesn't matter as much anymore, but in the old times, this star was extremely important. Old caravans, when they didn't know where they were going, would travel at night. If it was cloudy, they would stop, because they for sure had to see their GPS. If it was cloudy for any time period, they would have to stay. But there was also ways that have been paved along, and they knew where they were going. This is for just unknown routes. It's always good to go look at stars, especially in the deserts. Because in the desert, the light pollution is so low and you could see every star in the night sky. Mm -hmm. 